All right, well, I'm back home now. I've had a little bit of time to clean up my garage and get back to work. So what I'm going to start on today is while I was in Kentucky at the show, I bought a whole brake pedal assembly. Okay, the way it works, I know you can't see it real well, but there's an entire piece here, and then the master cylinder comes in under it. The way it's designed is either just sit under the floor, so the master's under the floor, and your brake pedal works so on, or you can mount it upside down and it hangs under the dash, and there's your brake pedal. Now, the issue is, if I do this, my master cylinder's under my dash. I don't want that. So we're gonna go for under the floor. Now, the first issue we've run into with this is this crazy angle off this pedal. Okay, this pedal goes way back out of the way. You wanna cut it off and bring it straight up because what's happening is when you press on the brake pedal, it's hitting the firewall. Because the way I have this designed, this crazy bend's not gonna work for me. Now, I know a couple of you are wondering why would I buy this setup? Mass cylinder was gonna cost me 50, 60 bucks. I got the whole thing for 100 at the show. So it's some Chinese stuff, but whatever. Um, Corvette style master cylinder. And so what I'm gonna do is start cutting this arm, moving it where I need it, and then we'll weld it back together and hopefully figure out a placement in the car. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we've cut everything into three different pieces now and we're ready to move forward. Now I've taken the ends and I've sanded them down and then I've ground them into a, a beveled edges so that when I weld it I've got a spot to put the weld to make it strong. Done it on both ends, I've even done it on the top piece for the pedal. Now I'm going to weld these together at the angle I want and I'll go ahead and weld the first one out and go ahead and sand it flat so it looks good because when we're working with this piece it's not going to be as easy. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, now when I'm mounting the pedal to the bracketry, I want to make sure, okay, normally you mount it straight up. Now I've got limited space in this car and I've got to get a gas pedal next to it. So I'm going to use this opportunity to lay it over some and actually get myself some more room in here. as usual try 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 again all right so I got all those pieces cut the way I want it went to fit it in there and the master cylinder hits the cross member it is not gonna work pretty much there's no good way for me to fit it in the frame uh, for two reasons one the C channel and the spacing of the training coming in I'm limited on space two of the main cross members right there that's not something I'm gonna notch or move so we're gonna flip it and put it under the dash. Um, in order to do that, there's a few issues. Um, one, there's nothing there except for the few tubes that we did. So we're gonna build a pleat to come off the tubes we have to mount it to, then we'll reinforce it and gusset it and we'll go from there. So that's the plan right now. We're gonna start cutting this plate, fitting it in, get it all to it, bolt it up and have it welded in there. Good system. So pretty much the pedal would swing from the top, kind of like a, most cars out there actually the pedals hang from the top so we're going to do that um, i'm mounting it low enough it's going to clear the steering and it won't be so hard to get float up in there so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to start cutting now Okay, we've got it mounted on the plate now. So what I'm gonna do is start welding this plate in and gusting it for strength. And this will give us our placement.
Last night we were able to go ahead and make the one bracket, gusted everything to hang the brake pedal in there. Now, if you remember from before, I cut it all up and I angled it. The reason I angled it is because I thought I was coming through the floor. Well, now it's angled the wrong way. So we're going to have to take it out, cut it, readjust it over the other way so it fits right. Then we can go ahead and mount the master cylinder in here and that part's done for now. And then we can start working on some sheet metal. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so look, I've gone ahead and cut it apart. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is tack it back on to here. Now what I'm gonna do is put one tack on it on the front. Now when I tack it on the front right here, that's gonna allow me to slightly bend it this way or left or right while I'm waiting, while I'm figuring it out before I weld it. So I'm gonna put one good tack here and that'll let me still kind of move it a little bit. If I move it too much, it'll break. So I'm gonna kind of try to put it where I think it's gonna be, put it in the car, check it, finish welding it. So now we need to take the master and figure out the right depth in order to set the length of the actual push rod. So the push rod needs to be 30 millimeters past where it's at. So we're going to grab a sharpie, mark it where we want it to start. So it's even the side, and we'll go 30 millimeters past it, cut it off, and then we'll round the edge of it so it's not blunt in there. And then it should be, should be the right length. All right, when you're doing this, if you got something like this that's adjustable, my suggestion is run it in as far as you can and cut a hair bit longer than what you measure. If you do this, you'll have more to play with, so if it's wrong, you just keep grinding it down. If you do the opposite way, you can come up too short, and then you got to make a whole new piece. So I'm going to work on cutting this off right now, and we'll see if it fits. Nope, need some adjustments. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's all mounted up. It's good. I got myself enough room to be able to put my foot over here for the gas and the brake. My other foot can ride out of the way. So that's the setup. Nothing too crazy. Simple bracket, some bracing. Get it together. So at this point, we're going to start making some of the sheet metal pieces. I bought a couple new tools, we're going to see how they work, and uh, we'll go from there. Now I'll take and make notes on the, the cardboard to see, you know, for if I need to move this spot over a little more or vice versa, or whatever I need to do, I'll mark it there and so I know where it needs to be. Alright, so now we gotta go lay this out on actual steel. Hey. Okay. 
that the place is secured and we have it in the shape we want, everything like that, we're going to trace any excess, remove the panel, shear it off, and then put it back in. Now that the place is secured and we have it in the shape we want, everything like that, we're going to trace any excess, remove the panel, shear it off, and then put it back in. Alright guys, well that's all we have for tonight. Um, you've seen the process, making the template, figuring it all out before you actually cut the metal, putting it in, massaging it in, and uh, screwing it down. Now we'll go back later and punch holes and then go around and rivet it, and that's where it'll stay. So anyway guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my stuff, there's a link there. You guys have a great night.